All right, boys and girls, it is that time. It has been 200 hours worth of printing on the longer LK1. I'm doing ABS right now with an 8 millimeter nozzle, and that shit is on there. Uh, it is time. I've got a wheel that's not turning, it's too loose, so you know, it's not touching, so therefore, it's not going to turn. Um, I got to check everything i'm going to change my nozzle out to a four millimeter nozzle now because i have other kind of prints i want to do and on top of that i'm going to show you how to silence it for mother trucking free that is right for free uh piece of cake so let's get this thing out of here and uh we'll flip it over and get some bolts going on all right so first thing you're gonna know is everyone tells you to get this little red foam or whatever foam out of your packing from your 3d printer and set it under the feet boom bam you're done not true like i'll pull the one out of my heavy end here and show you after about 24 hours it's basically touching the ground okay <laughs> like I don't know if you can see that like it's dimpled out here and looks thick but inside there no it's it's basically on the surface again because you have one inch diameter with all the weight on it constantly vibrating just squishing down so after 24 hours this does not work like i had to replace it you know a lot finally i was just like screw it i'll deal with the noise for a while <laughs> so uh i'll show you what you need to do First thing you're going to need is wood or bricks. Either one will work. Like, I'm sure you have some spare wood or you can find some wood for free. I mean, go find a pallet on the side of the road, tear off a couple pieces. It'll be fine. It'll be like one inch, three quarter inch, something like that. I'm using uh, three quarter inch, I think. Well, it's just a little over. And because it's what I had left over, so it's going to work good. And then I'm going to make it pretty. Obviously, this is optional, except for the wood you're going to need. All right, wood is complete. Wood. Man, that is dirty. Look at all that. Look at all that dirt. Sheesh. All right, I'm going to wipe this down, too. We have bound the culprit. So it's this guy right here, it's super spinny. See this one turns the bed. This one turns the bed. I mean it's laying on side, but they're all still turning the bed. Uh, these two back ones though, they're just free spinning. So I'm gonna put a wrench on the nut in there. I should be able to reach it right here because I got that thin wrench. And then I'm gonna back it out and snug it up and just get her dialed in till she's just like these guys. All right. Boom, bam, Bob is your uncle. The whole bed moves everywhere. Even the back one here now. All right. See what's next. All right, so here's your motor. Got it pulled off. Boom. I mean, it's not exactly free, but I mean, if you're into like nerdy stuff, like 3D printing, you probably have some of this lying around real quick. So what I'm going to do is the same thing I did here. And I just put it in between the frame and the motor. So right there, just like that. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to pull layers off and then I'll show you how it's done. Uh, it works a charm. Like it may not be as good as... Um, whatever those spacers are you know but uh it works like it quieted it down like 50 percent on all the motors so um it's definitely no harder than doing it the other way it's no easier um but it's cheap boom bam bob's your uncle that is all there is to it i did like two layers you know i tried to leave a little bit of gaps for air here so that way it's not the whole motor touching the frame, you know? So there's some spots where it's not even gonna be touching, which is what I want. So I'm just gonna um, trim these holes out with my scissors and pop her back in. 
All right. All right, now we go to the box. Now this foam should work. Why? Because now we have a lot more surface area to displace the weight. That is gonna look sweet. Yes. Oh, that's gonna look sweet. All right, let's, I'm gonna pop this on here and then we're gonna test her out. So while I'm at it, I'm gonna use, um, since I'm changing the nozzle size 0.4, I'm gonna go with this steel hot end. So hopefully I don't have to replace it for a really long time. And I can use um, pretty much whatever kind of filament I want. And I did some dusting while I was in there and made sure everything was snugged up. It looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, basically what we've done so far is we've uh, checked all the belts and everything. We've got this bad boy laying on two slabs of wood with like two and a half inches of foam. To So hopefully that displaces all that. I got my cord running through the middle here. Oh man, it's going to be epic, hopefully. Alright, we got our glue down. Put the bed over using the glass side because I've been printing so much ABS, my cover is starting to bubble, which will affect everything. So I got her leveled, got it flipped, and uh, we're going to try some PTEG. Um, I can do ABS fine, I hear this is stringy, so hopefully it's not a pain in the butt, but we're going to give it a try. And we're going to see how noisy this is, or quiet. Looking good. This is how loud it is. All you can hear is the part fan. Let me turn the part fan down. There, I turned the part fan down from 250 to uh, 180. That's quiet. I think that worked pretty good. And the PTEG so far, it actually stuck to the bed. I don't know what I used to do wrong with it, but um, let's just hope the stringing isn't horrible because, yeah, I am horrible at PTEG, but I was using an 8.8 millimeter nozzle, so maybe that's why. I don't know. We'll see if I'm still garbage at it. I turned up the retraction to 0.7. Uh, it was at 0.5. So uh, let's come back in uh, seven minutes hopefully. All right I've noticed uh, I think I have too much surface area with the foam or I need softer foam. Um, so I am going to chop the foam up a little bit more and give that a try. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this print because it's just a stringing test and I have zero strings so far and I've got the fan off so pretty sure I'm good so oh my god get the what is the deal here there we go so yeah I'm pretty sure I'm good so um let's do another test all right so I've removed shoot I'm gonna say 60% of the foam so I've just got really big foam blocks now, instead of the length of the whole thing. And it feels super squishy now. So I think that's gonna do it. We're gonna try it, get the print warming up, glue back down, let's do it. Done, baby, done. That did it. I was getting kind of like a knocking sound almost because the there was so much foam, it was actually transferring uh, sound. That and um, these have glue layers in them and I had it turned sideways. <laughs> so, you know, the glue layers are a little stiffer. So that was transferring that knocking sound into there too. I'm sure that wasn't helping. So um, that is definitely the best and the quietest this thing has ever been. Check it out. That's it. That's it, bro. That's it. I'm listening, listening. The baby's good. She's good. Oh yeah. 
You just hear that stupid fan now. It's like so stupid loud. Uh, I was going to turn the fan off. I'm going to test one with the fan off on this PTEG also. There we go. Now all you hear is the machine. That's, that's doable. That is so doable. All right. Peace out. Bye.